sure you're also watching ways now world animal um, animal day is celebrated annually on october 4th to raise awareness of animal welfare and celebrate all animals it was first celebrated in 1925 at the first world animal day um, animal welfare congress in berlin germany the date was chosen to coincide with the feast day of saint francis of assisi now, the patron saint of animals, World Animal Day is a global event with celebrations taking place in over 100 countries. On this day, people come together to raise awareness of animal welfare um, issues, promote com uh, compassion for all animals, and celebrate the animals in their lives. Actually, I'm a lover of animals. Like, if you check my Instagram um, timeline, cats and dogs, <laughs> you will see... Cats. Because I watch a lot of videos on cats and dogs. And, you know, sometimes I watch the wild animals, but I'm really scared. I don't think I can keep a wild animal as a pet. But, hey. Why should I mean, anyone even keep a wild animal as a saw as I a saw pet. a video that I shared, I shared um, with a few people on, like, the... Um, the, the lady most, that raised the, the No, 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 no. The, okay. the most um, deadliest dogs mm. in the world. If you see them. Jeez. <laughs> They're like lions. I These are dogs that they use the for hunting, dogs. war, and all of that. I say, I mean, they are animals. So we've not even seen anything. No, we've not. All the tiny chihuahua. You, you watch um, this geo, geo world on yeah, DSTV. Yeah. Oh, you see I actually animals. Love watching I love animal yeah, channel, me too. Right? So I mean, so mm. I mean, with again, if you see some videos, you just fall in love. Some people actually take good care of their pets. Mm. Like you uh, see, like, dog having a massage, having you know the proper like a proper house even a bath with the like, bath you know, there was one i saw the puppy she was so cute she was shaking and you know they put her in a bathtub put the, the whatever it was so beautiful i actually love um i had a cat so i i took care of my but the problem the reason i've not re revived my love mm. is the time <laughs> I, I will not have time to feed that animal time because it's actually very time consuming for you to be able to take good care of a pet it's yeah. time consuming so and expensive dog dad dog mom cat dad cat mom mm. Animals are beautiful. I like animals. And when I say animals, I don't mean all animals. I like dogs. Mm -hmm. Because you carry goat. Huh? Goat is you. an animal. Or a snake. But I will kill it. A <laughs> top is you. That is or you. a snake. Or, or a lion. Or like, I mean, I, I, I enjoy natural world. Just, it helps me mm. think about humans and animals and just mm. relationship. But aside from that, um, I think animals are meant to be just... Animals outdoor, like I have a problem with people who sleep on the same bed with their Dogs. pets, mm. or having a chicken as and a pet, and let them inherit. Having... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Like animals are for outdoor. I love you, but stay outdoor. Mm. Indoor is for me. Or if you must have an indoor, your house. You, you have your house, but just not yeah, it's a child. Hmm. Yeah. An animal is not a child. Hmm. Really? That's just my perception. An if you, animal if, is an if, if animal. I have a friend, if she catch you, you will enter one trouser if you say no, this I to her. An animal is an animal. <laughs> a human being is a human exactly. being. If you say this to her, she's uh, going to come for your truth, your juggle. Uh, like, how do you wake up and say, I'm a dog dad, I'm uh, a dog mom. And it's a trend. I am talking about your, your, uh, your like pet like a child. Like you're talking about, oh, I'm a mom. No, but I'm you think, think, listen, it's because you don't see... I, you, I grew up with dogs. No, I grew up no, with six. You didn't grow up with it. Let me explain, right? Animals are so brilliant and they're so um they're so their sense of emotion is highly heightened. Right? Mm -hmm. Um if if you're ill, your 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 animal, your your pet knows that you're ill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. you, you you haven't just gotten that intimacy yet with them. That's why you don't understand why somebody will go that extra length. You know to do all of those things that's why mm -hmm. they are actually a lot more highly attentive. sensitive attentive than even humans they pay attention to your emotions all your senses they are watching mm -hmm. you when you're not you know when you're not in a good mood so that's why in the u.s for instance you know when they come back from war-torn countries all these veterans mm -hmm. right they yeah, attach they animals yes they attach a, a pet to them because it is those animals that help them to heal mm -hmm. so i mean it is such a beautiful relationship but you see until you get to that level of intimacy you will not understand it so you know i have had a a, a pet and i understand it right mm -hmm. and it was difficult because 
when I lost, because that connection was just with that one. Mm. When I lost that one, I couldn't connect with any other pet again. Because again, I was also afraid that I don't invest so much in emotion in and my another die. cat, and they will they will like use the cat to and kill us. My mother, I've not forgiven her for that. <laughs> you know, but <laughs> I'm just saying to you that. So once you get that 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 level of intimacy with an animal. Mm -hmm. Where you would now understand what the, why these people go the, those extra lines, but they are a lot more sensitive than humans. They pay attention to every sense in you, and they feel it. Mm. They feel your energy. They know when you are down. They know when to cheer you up. So it's such a beautiful feeling. Like honestly. I'm not again. I love them. Mm. I just don't want them on my bed. And because and that kind of like the sense in me, you they talk. See, you I never. Know. When you get that's another level, that's another okay. realm. I like the level where I do. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right, quickly, let's run through this. What did you find for us, Diola? Ah, okay. So this one is Pope suggests Catholic Church could bless same-sex marriages. Hmm. So, um, in 2021, the Vatican decreed that the Catholic Church would not bless gay marriages because sin is not to be blessed but by late monday the vatican published a letter by pope francis which addressed which was addressed to a group of cardinals who asked him for clarity on the issue and um, he said yes there is an emphasis on pastoral charity which suggests the willingness to address the pastoral needs of same-sex couple and extend understanding and support to them the Catholic Church maintains that um, marriage is um, strictly between a man and a woman, but is um, open and um, they say that, um, I mean, humans or people in this category, you know, LGBTQ community should not be judged and they should be accepted and they can be blessed, you know. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, they are saying that this move, is supposed to help them live better lives and maybe change their lives. So I don't know what we're going to see in the coming days. Understanding that the Catholic Church is like the largest single entity, single Christian entity in the world, mm -hmm. you know. So that's um, some, some, I, I don't know. It's like, it's like, um, what's the word? It's a ripple. It's going to. It's something that would spin around the globe, you know, mm -hmm. because Nigeria. There's so many Catholics all over the world, really, so all is, over the here world. Is, here is my question, mm. right? And I'm not asking this in judgment. Mm. I'm asking to understand better. Mm. So the the Catholic Church op obviously operates with the Bible, and mm. in the Bible it is very clear, mm. like the Bible or Christ Christian faith does not support same sex marriage, mm. Mm. right? So if you must get married, mm. do you really have to bring it to the church? Because there are other entities. For instance, if you're on a ship, the captain could wed you. Absolutely. They're licensed to do that. Absolutely. If you're aboard, the the pilot could wed you. You. True. If you're on ground, you could go to a law court. So, and there are so many. So, avenues this question you are asking is mm. because you see, you need to understand how these principles work. Mm -hmm. um, endorsements are a big deal. Yeah, you understand. Endorsements are a big deal. The reason they would want to approach a church is because once subtle, the church once the endorses church, once it, the church allows it. It means the church has yeah. said it is okay to do it. Yeah. So it becomes almost like law. Yeah. You get so. Uh, of course, they would target those kinds of institutions. I think they've had their way with the government. They've had yes. their way with a lot of places. So they mm -hmm. need to now start infiltrating In religion. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just a no-brainer. Yeah. yeah. How about your story, Sandy? Quickly. Okay, so uh, we're discussing medicine today, and um, breaking news today: um, the Minister of State for Health and Social Welfare, Dr. Tunji Alasa in Abuja, was saying that the federal government has put in place plans and strategies to double the population of medical and dental doctors from 5,000 to 10,000 starting from the next academic year by increasing admission into medical and dental institutions. So basically they're saying that the brain drain is a lot. So we need to like get more people into the medical field. So instead of the usual 5,000 quota that is admitted into universities, you know, per, per annum, they want to increase it to, to 10,000. And he also went ahead to say that, um, that they, they are hoping that to make the healthcare environment more attractive to retain people. Mm. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, think, I think that latter part is what yeah. is most important. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we're going to talk more about that when we have yeah. our guest. 
in line to, with healthcare as well, ministerial nominee slums during screening. I've been looking for the full story, but I mean, it's just a short one. They just said that the nominee Abbas Balarebi, you know, slumped around 1.50 p.m. After this was a Mary story yesterday, she took that he was nominated and all of that to replace mm -hmm. Nasser mm -hmm. El Rafai. Mm -hmm. So he slumped after, around 1.50 p.m. after he introduced himself and highlighted his achievements so far in the private and public sector. I don't know. I, I don't know. It, I, I, I don't. Could it be stress? It could be. Know. Honestly, Honestly, a lot of people in Nigeria mm. were not very mindful of our health. We are so stretched thin mm. because we keep on taking so much, so my, much. My that won't be saying mm. eh, anybody that is going to go into. Um, governance is not small work. Remember when Fashola was entering? Look, I had all black hair. Now, uh, uh, now it became all grey. Like even the same thing Obama. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it actually ages you because you think. Look at me now. It's a burden. It's a burden. It's yeah. a huge burden. So whatever it is, I, 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 I need people to understand that if no matter how juicy the thing is, if you're not healthy enough. You know, we don't know his reason for mm, slumming, mm. but I'm just saying that just generally because we had a president that died, right? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So no matter how, um, what's it called, juicy the thing might look, um, these things also come with their own pressures and it, it might take a huge toll on your health. Sure. But since we're discussing healthcare, we'll just save all these healthcare issues till we bring in our guests. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 